Hi everyone. Today, uh, our new guest joined with us. His name is Bargav. And uh, like the questions today are mainly circling around how much the cost of his studies for masters, and uh, how was his visa experience, and also what course he took and which university he selected. These are the three things, main things which we are going through. And uh, before wasting uh, all of your time, let's start with Bargav. Bargav, so. could you explain uh, could you tell about yourself like uh, where you are from or uh, like uh, yeah. how was your experience as for now yeah yeah sure so i am from kolkata west bengal uh, i am doing my masters from the university of florida which is where bhuvanesh is also doing his masters from <laughs> and uh, i am doing my masters in the electrical and computer engineering department Mm-hmm. and i have taken up subjects like vlsi computer architecture reconfigurable computing and the advanced version of all these courses as well in my first two semesters in i have two more semesters to go and right now i am situated in austin because i am uh, currently doing an internship with arm so yeah that's all about me yeah yeah so thank you for the intro and uh, uh, just yeah, jump into short questions like uh, first thing is like how much is your educational cost because many people believe that uh, if you are coming from india you need at least a 40 lakhs of loan or you need to self finance at least 40 lakh for your education so i believe it's a myth so what's your point of view on okay like how much you spend on your masters as far as of now and uh, uh, how much you feel like you might spend extra further more so can you brief about so, it so yeah so like the tuition uh, in the in the ufl in the university of florida is like 1250 dollars per credit so okay. you usually take nine credits per semester so you'll take nine credits for the first three semesters and then you will have three credits left in order to complete your masters so okay. uh, for the first two semesters your uh, tuition fee if you calculate it like that you come up to a uh, 10000 something 10000 something usd per semester so it will come up to 20000 something and okay. on that on that like if you get admitted to the university of florida you will get a 1500 dollars scholarship per semester that is no okay. credit for the first three semesters so your tuition fee will go down to 9500 dollars so if you multiply it by 2 is like 18000 dollars 18000 something dollars 9, so that's 000, what yeah. you spend So that's what. That's how much I spend. It will come around fifteen lakhs, right? Yeah. Fifteen lakhs, fifteen lakhs, yeah. yeah, roughly. So that's how much I spent till now for my masters. I have two more semesters to go, so you can add uh, like nine more credits. So it will be how much will it be? So nine more credits. It will be around ten thousand lakhs. Uh, around yeah, around twelve lakhs. Yeah. Around yeah, yeah, ten uh, ten million lakhs. Yeah. Eight to ten lakhs like lakh more. Then, yeah. So if you. Three credits, yeah. yeah. So if you calculate in total, it's like twenty-five to twenty-seven lakhs. That's how much you need to spend uh, for your studies in the in the University of Florida. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so like yeah, that's that's how much like I am also spending right now. So that's the tuition, yeah. So like in this, did you get uh, as as you told, you are doing an internship with them, and also uh, how much? you can save during that time and uh, what is the part time money you will be getting if you are staying there and uh, can you manage your expense living expense with your part time money if you are studying in uh, while you are studying these are the common questions i believe everyone will have in their mind so could you tell about that uh, how yeah, sure. was your experience so like uh, like i worked as like if you work part time in the university of florida the pay is like uh, 13 to 15 dollars an hour so okay. you are allowed to work for 20 hours a week so if you multiply like 15 dollars an hour to 20 it will be 300 dollars so 300 yeah. dollars per week you are earning so yeah. you will earn around 1200 dollars a month so that is actually more much more than enough in order to like uh, like uh, for your living costs Okay. So like I'll just tell you the room rents and all quickly so like I I stay in a private room uh mm-hmm. with a shared bathroom that's around $380 and that's uh, like that's the range that's the range of apartments you can get it's like $400 right, right now the prices are a little bit increased but I'm pretty sure they'll go down with yeah. time once again yeah so that's so you can easily end the grocery like if you spend you can spend like you can live uh, with $200 in your grocery 
So okay. it's like yeah, so total you spend uh, six hundred dollars roughly. You still have six hundred dollars in your pocket. So yeah, yeah if you earn a thousand dollars, it's pretty pretty good for yeah. your expenses. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and another thing is like um, uh, let's come back uh, around these topics. So why University of Florida and uh, why EC uh, and you told yeah. So yeah. these. So yeah, so if I first I'll go with why EC because I love hardware. I'm not that much into software. I love anything that like I love anything that has to. like that has to do with hardware like cpus rams all those things i love so i wanted to study in depth about all those things that's why i chose ec mm-hmm. electrical and computer engineering uh, morely mostly computer engineering yeah and why university of florida is because yeah like the courses like the like i wanted to do some like vlsi courses along with computer architecture courses and rtl design courses so university of okay. florida offered me uh like a very good combination yeah, of these courses of yeah okay. that i could take basically all whatever i said i took in my first semester courses rtl design vlsi computer architecture to like uh, to check all the different fields these are all vast fields in themselves so yeah so that's that's uh, good and apart from that uh, like as i said earlier university of florida is pretty cheap you mm-hmm. can complete your studies uh, in 25 to 27 lakhs in here tuition Yeah. And then one more thing is UF is really like very highly ranked in the US news. If you go and search on the US news about our school, University of yeah, Florida, it's, it's very highly ranked. It's yeah, four, it's like the top. Guess. Yeah, it's the top top five public schools in the US. So yeah, yeah, these are all the reasons that like that's that's why I chose University of Florida. Okay, and uh, other thing is like, um, how about your visa experience? And coming back to one question, mm-hmm. uh, like the previous question, I am coming back. So, uh, like your your tuition fees, you told like twenty seven around twenty seven lakh, right? So, yeah. uh, at least if we are getting an internship, can we during the time can we save for the last two semesters? Like uh, because you already took some. Mm-hmm. Twenty thousand around, so it's like roughly sixteen lakh. So, yeah. will your internship money cover the remaining rest of the courses amount? Yeah, it it will easily do that, and then you'll have some money left in your hand if you spend it okay. wisely. You can okay. spend a lot of money in the US, but you have to spend it wisely. If you like, if you yeah, yeah you can like live well, and you can yeah, you can spend uh, like you can spend on your tuition, and you still have some money left. You can so so possibly so possibly can we roughly keep like your tuition will be around sixteen to twenty within that? Yeah, you can, can easily like, keep it. Yeah, you can easily keep it around fifteen lakhs, fifteen to sixteen lakhs, because the okay. rest you can easily pay off if you get a if you get an internship, you can easily pay it off. And as I Okay. all your your household like your monthly expenses on your room or your food expenses you can easily make it up with the part time jobs that that are okay. at offer okay got it so now i'm coming back to the question of visa so how was your visa experience and is it uh, kolkata uh, friendly whom are coming from uh, some different parts of the country like um, most of the southern people doesn't know uh, hindi that much so if they are coming there and uh, you will be speaking in bengali uh, do do they like if if we want to communicate with them will they be uh, will they speak in english so it's a common question of south indians right like if we are coming for a visa purpose so just to know like whether the uber drivers are uh, how is it like um, whether it is amicable to the person coming from the uh, coming for the visa interview and yeah. uh, Like I don't think uh, you will face any problems with languages like Bengali. Yeah, Bengali is mostly spoken, but then there is uh, Hindi and English. Most, okay. I think most people will understand English if you tell them the where you need to go, where you need to stay. I think they'll understand that much. So I don't think it will be a problem for you. Okay. And personally, for me, because I gave my visa interview uh, on July of 2021. Okay. It was a very problematic year because of the because of COVID, COVID and, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it was difficult for me to get a slot and everything. But na- normally it is pretty easy. You can just apply for a visa and you'll get an F1 slot. And as far as I remember, uh, like the visa officers are pretty friendly there. The, okay. Like uh, yeah. So my experience went pretty good. He didn't ask me many questions. Like just asked me why I wanted to come to the US or what is my interest and all those things. Very basic questions. 
So yeah, it was pretty good overall, and I think it, it uh, like yeah, like people from yeah, people from South are uh, can feel free and come here and give their interviews. It'll be it'll be good for them if they can roam around Kolkata, they can see the city and they can give yeah, them. that'll be that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. and then like there are many hotels around the uh, US Embassy in Kolkata, so it's fine. They okay. can stay anywhere they want. So, yeah. So in even in Kolkata is that uh, different different places because in Chennai uh, biometrics yeah. is at uh, one place and uh, the visa center like yeah. whichever we are giving interview yeah. is at one place is it the same way in Kolkata? Yeah, it's, it's the, same? the same way in Kolkata, but the places are pretty close by. Okay. So yeah, if you take a hotel that is in between these two places, you can easily manage your biometrics as well as your interview. So okay. It is, yeah, it is easy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Bhagav. These are the questions yeah. which I have for you today. And uh, hopefully we will catch up in some other interview because yes, I remember sure. that you told once you got TOEFL above one ten, right? So yeah, uh, if I am remembering correctly, so mm. you you can give some your your point of view how to prepare sure. for TOEFL and stuff. So sure, you can catch, sure. catch up really soon. And uh, sure. thank you for your time, Bhargav. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bhuvanesh. Goodbye, thank everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll meet you again later.